AI has been and still is a hot topic since it came out because it has many implications. It is revolutionary, it is exciting and concerning all at the same time. Everywhere I look, there are people telling me what to think about AI. It's either the devil reincarnated or the best thing invented by mankind. I'm not going to tell you what to think, this is your prerogative. But I want to have a casual chat while I share the creation of the painting that triggered this reflection on AI. Hello, my name is Iris. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I am a graphic designer and illustrator. Let me preface this video with the fact that I am not against AI-generated images. Controversial for an artist, I know. Don't get me wrong, I am not thrilled by it because I am part of the most impacted population. However, I can see the appeal. I know AI has many ethical issues and I'm mostly not going to address them as so many before me have already talked about the subject. My stand is that I do not approve of the way AI models have been built, but I know that they cannot untrain what they have learned, even if it was through dubious means. So as a human being concerned about her future, I am trying to see how I can survive now that AI is here to stay. I did not publish anything about this topic when it was all the rage because I needed time to process the information without jumping to conclusions and even now I cannot really say if we are all doomed or if there is a speck of light at the end of the tunnel. My optimistic nature wants to believe in the latter but I have no guarantee. To be able to have my own opinion, I decided to try AI image generators on a specific project I had, which is the one you are presently seeing its creation process. I got to admit, once I decided I wanted to try AI image generators, I was extremely excited. I wanted to see what the AI would come up with the idea I had. I can honestly understand why people are so enthusiastic about it. It materializes your ideas in ways that you may not have thought of. And for people who have absolutely no art training, this can be fascinating. I get it, trust me. I decided to use AI to try to gather ideas for creating my Night Goddess painting, which I had already done the clean sketch. I only had to start painting it, but I had many doubts about how to execute the idea I had in my mind. So, I tried to get into Mid Journey because everybody was talking about it. However, that was not possible without paying as they stopped the free trial and honestly, there is no way I'm going to pay them as they are making money out of the copyrighted material they have trained their AI on. Consequently, I ended up trying Leonardo.ai which has the option to let you try it for free. You can very well pay to get more advantages, but the free plan is absolutely enough for me and my needs. So here I am in front of the prompt interface of Leonardo and I stumble upon my first challenge. How the hell do I put into words what I have in my mind? Especially that I have a very specific idea since I already did the drawing. I knew I wanted a beautiful woman with black hair. I wanted the hair of my character to become a galaxy of stars, only showing her face, shoulders and arms coming out of the night sky. I wanted her to hold a levitating, tiny glowing earth in her hands, right in front of her. So I took the prompt of another image generated from another Leonardo user to have a template and started customizing it for my needs. I typed. Beautiful woman, black long hair wrapping shoulders, hair turns into a galaxy, face and bust, hands hold a tiny glowing earth, crown made of stars, midnight aura, night sky, detailed gorgeous face, mysterious glowing backlit. I have to admit that the first results did not impress me, however this was my first attempt so I modified the prompt. 
What I did not like from the first result was that I could not see the hands of the character, nor was there any glowing little earth, and I realized that I put backlit instead of light coming from beneath, so I modified it again. As I went on, I kept getting images that were not what I wanted, so I kept on modifying the prompts and generating new ones, with each iteration getting more and more frustrated. Then I realized that my frustration came from being stuck writing prompts when what I wanted to do is start painting. So I reverted to my old reference search for resolving the issues I had. All I needed was a reference of the Earth, a reference from a galaxy, and a reference of a face lit from beneath. And this was easily found in very few minutes. I could finally start painting, which was what I wanted all along. So this experiment helped me form my own opinion about some aspects of AI. Number one, putting into words what you have in mind is really difficult and you might not get what you pictured in your head at all. AI image generators are okay if you only have a vague idea and you want to generate images that spike your inspiration, but when your concept is already in place, it can be difficult to direct the AI towards what you want and need. For example, the fact that I wanted to have a light source coming from underneath the face of my character was not understood by the AI whatsoever. Some will tell me that it is because I'm not a prompt expert and that I need to mess with the prompts way longer to get what I want. But this confirms a flaw about AI. It is difficult to make it understand what you want. Adjusting the results can hence be a long process with iteration after iteration of images in order to finally get close to the output wanted. Artificial intelligence is only a marketing name given to machine learning algorithms. There is no real intelligence behind AI. Those are prediction engines. AI models do not understand what they are doing. They do not take decisions based on emotions, experiences, context. All they do is predict a satisfactory output based on an input. And as they work so differently than a human mind, it is difficult to control their output. In a way, this reassures me a bit about AI taking my job. Well, a big part of AI users only want to play around and get cool images, those who want to get specific things might get a better chance by hiring a real human artist, because you can discuss and the artist actually understands what you are saying. Of course. AI image generators are developing so fast that this flow might disappear in the very near future, but I still think there will always be a place for real artists. Number two, AI is more valuable for non-artists than artists. Many AI enthusiasts keep telling artists that AI is actually a very good thing for them. However, I personally think this piece of technology will be more useful for non-artists. When people are trying to tell artists that AI will help them be more creative and productive, I really don't see it as that beneficial to artists. Sure, it can help for inspiration and for references, but so does Pinterest and the world around us. Generating images that are close to the concepts that I want is not always what sparks my imagination. I often get inspired by things that have little to do with the final artwork I produce. For example, this art piece called Happy Blanket was inspired by a video of Emily Artful called The Truth About My Scar that she made four years ago. She painted a girl whose hair was made of flowers while talking about very hard experiences that she has lived through. I was literally under a blanket watching her video, crippled by anxiety and feeling awful, and the flowery hair she was painting was instantly associated in my mind to my blanket and to this feeling of hiding yourself because of anxiety behind a cheerful persona. The image of what I wanted to create popped up in my head very vividly, and I had to paint it. 
Maybe some will think that her concept and mine are similar, as there is a girl under something flowery, whether it is hair or a blanket, in both of our paintings. But to me, not only the final image is not similar, but the meaning behind it is directly linked to my life, and is my own. I fail to see how much more value AI can bring to me as an artist, more than the actual tools I already have. I am not saying it does not have value. I was able to generate some images that I'm going to use as reference for an upcoming project. But the added value is not so much more for my particular use. AI will be more beneficial for people who will be able to use it for things they would have never been able to create before its existence, or for companies who want to save costs. Number 3. AI image generators will surely disrupt the art industry. Even though I do not see an invaluable added value for artists, I still think that this technology is revolutionary. Although there are flaws with AI art, I think that those are not sufficiently important to deter people from using the tool and in very nefarious ways, may I add. There will be a portion of artists' jobs that will disappear. That is a fact history has shown us again and again. I know that many deny the fact that artists will be impacted by referring to the invention of photography, which did not obliterate the work of all artists, but it did impact a subset of them. The problem is when you are part of that subset. While many users of AI are people who would have not bought art from real artists anyways, I am sure industries will find ways to use AI instead of artists to make more money and save costs. You see, there are many who think that art is a product, and since it is a product, the creation process should be efficient. If you can make an image in seconds that is beautiful and cheap, then why not? They believe art is a result of combining different factors and the final results has little to do with the creator or the process to create it. Only results count. In this case, artists have no reason to exist anymore. AI can do what they do in a fraction of time and often way better than they would ever do it themselves. This way of seeing art explains why they think of it as any other mass-produced industrialized item. Artworks are objects or pieces that can be displayed, sold, collected, or exhibited. This can unfortunately apply to graphic design. People always look for a way to save money and time when they hire a graphic designer. I do not think it is fair, but in a capitalistic world, graphic design has to be competitive, even though this competitiveness may hinder the creative process and ultimately the final result. Maybe artists who have already built their reputation will be less impacted. But those like me, who are not established yet, will have it way harder than ever before. AI is going to help big corporations and people with ill intent to bypass artists altogether. Number four. That being said, artists will remain relevant. This might be confirmation bias coming from me, or simply wishful thinking. I might want to undermine the effect of AI on the art industry, but I firmly believe that artists add more value than simply the final artwork that is produced. To me, art is not a product, but rather process-driven. The issue of people not having any type of artistic background getting exactly what they want from an AI, no questions asked is not necessarily going to be a good thing for them. Most of the best creative works come from the push and pull that happens between business-oriented clients and an experienced artist designer who can help make the company's unique vision and identity visually cohesive. For example, I am currently working on a visual identity for a friend who is a yoga instructor. She is a very artsy person who has a good, refined artistic sensibility, but she is not a designer. 
From the beginning, she wanted to have a visual identity with vivid colors, while at the same time having a branding that inspires serenity, equilibrium, and reminds people of nature. Bright, flashy colors, nature, and serenity are not really the most compatible ideas, and I had to discuss with her the fact that having bright red, as she wanted, might be perceived as too aggressive for a yoga branding. However, we discussed over our ideas, and at one point, I came up with an idea for her visual. I did a draft of it and presented it to her. She was ecstatic and really moved by it of what I created. She told me I was able to capture her essence and what she really wanted. She told me she would have never thought of what I created by herself, but that it was actually what she didn't know she wanted. On the other hand, her insisting she wanted vivid colors challenged me to find a way to integrate them into the design and make the whole concept cohesive. Without our debate, the ideas from both sides might have been too commonplace. Even though people argue that there is no real creativity anymore and that everything comes from an existing source, human creation usually sparks innovation. What human artists bring to the table is the ability to inject new aesthetics and new things from the outside world into the universe of art as a whole. Since AI art only draws from a pre-existing pool of sources, it can never inject new life into the supply of art that it depends on, unless you update the dataset regularly with new art. Without as many professional artists injecting new images, style and concepts into the collective artistic culture, artistic progress will slow down and less truly new interesting ideas will appear. Artists and designers are invaluable in this aspect. At the end of the day, whether my art career is doomed or not, I will continue to create art because the process is invaluable to me and I know that fellow artists feel the same drive to create. For this art piece, my final art might not be as visually appealing than some of the images the AI generated, but I enjoyed every stroke, every mark I made. When I had happy accidents, I enjoyed finding solutions to make it work nonetheless. My artwork has value because I made it, and nobody will take that away from me. As an end note, I want to say that besides the threats or the opportunities that AI image generators might entail, AI is so new and revolutionary that we cannot foresee the exact impact it will have on human lives. However, we can try to direct its outcome towards something that can help rather than destroy livelihoods. It is a technology that goes well beyond art as developers are trying to reach what they call AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. I am personally terrified of this AGI and I cannot help but wonder if progress for the sake of progress is really the correct and sane thing to do. What do you think about it? That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me and if you did, let me know by liking this video. And if you want to see more of my creations, subscribe. Have a nice day, night, whatever the time you're watching this, if you're watching it until the end. Thank you for watching.